If you're looking for a new no-code tool, a new software to help you get more organized and work more efficiently, look no further than this video. I'm gonna be breaking down for you a new software that I've recently stumbled across just a couple of months ago. I am talking about Smart Suite. So if you wanna check it out and get my fresh take on what I love about this software, stick around and let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Gareth. I'm the owner at Gap Consulting, and we make it our mission to help you automate the bullshit. If that's of interest, you definitely want to learn how to leverage no-code tools, and specifically, no-code automation. This is the kind of stuff that's going to work in the background for you so you don't have to do all those repetitive manual tasks. Instead, set it and forget it and let those things just work in the background of your workflow. If you want to learn the building blocks of no-code automation, I've put together a free training for you. It's going to teach you the basics. It doesn't matter what software you use to build automation. The basic fundamentals are the same, and you're going to get them in that training. Check that out at garethpronovost.com slash webinar dash registration. But without further ado, let's hop into the heart of this video. I've got to show you this new tool that I recently found called Smart Suite. It's going to look familiar to you if you've been using relational databases in the cloud over the last few few years. This software, however, includes a bunch of new features that I haven't found in any other tools, and it gets me really excited because there's a lot of cool potential with the new things I'm going to show you. So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down the three biggest things, in my opinion, that really set Smart Suite apart from the competition, things that I've hoped other tools, other softwares would do for a long time, but Smart Suite, just having launched, is already doing these things out the gate. So let's jump into it. The first one is this area called My Work. When you log into a solution in Smart Suite, I'll go ahead and click into this particular solution here called Ongoing Projects. And it's a pretty straightforward setup here. I'm just being assigned to a project. It's got a high priority. Uh, the status is in ready for review and I've got a due date of September 3rd. Now, the thing I want to point out is that all of the different solutions that you build within Smart Suite inside of one workspace, they're going to consolidate all of the tasks that are assigned to you into one place, meaning that you don't have to click around into each database to find the different work that's assigned to you. Instead, in the upper right corner, there's this little checkbox right here. You can select my work. When you open this up, it's going to show you all of the different things that you've been assigned to across all these different databases. In this case, I'm grouping by the solution, but I could choose to group by priority or due date or status or whatever I want inside of these different tasks that are assigned to me. But again, the, the bottom line is I don't have to jump around into all these different areas to find out what I need to do next because all of my tasks are consolidated across all the different solutions in this workspace. So here I have a task that is in a totally different solution. Test is the name of this particular task and I can go ahead and update the status here. I can change the priority. I can change the due date without having to actually get inside that particular solution. Or alternatively, here I am inside of the ongoing project scenario and I can just change the status of this. Let's say I finished this particular project. I can move it to complete. It's now gone from my work as you see, although it's over here in my closed assignments. But back to my open assignments, it's gone from this particular view. And if I leave my work and instead I go back into the ongoing project solution, you see that that project that was assigned to me, that particular task, is now marked as complete. And all of that was driven by that My Work panel popping up. Again, the ability to consolidate all my stuff across the entire workspace and give me all my tasks in one view, this is huge value add. Now the second thing that blows me away about Smart Suite, I can't believe that out of the box they already have this feature and it's still a relatively new software having just launched several months ago. Well, let's go ahead and back up and go back to the workspace here. You see I've got contacts here and I also have a different solution for the ongoing projects that we were just in. Did you notice though that I've linked my ongoing projects to a contact here? Yes. Exactly what you're thinking is right. I'm able to link across different solutions without needing a synced table or any other way to facilitate that linked relationship. All I have to do is create a linked field here and when I set that up, then I'm asked where do you want to link to? And this is where we can choose the solution and the app that we want to link to. So let's just for the sake of argument set this up from scratch and I'll show you what I mean. 
Before I do, let's back out though, look at our contacts and you'll see here that I have a totally different solution with only this single app right here. And inside of here, I just have the one contact myself as a test case. So let's go ahead and pop back now into that ongoing projects and I'll go ahead and add a new field. Pretend like I don't already have a link here. All I need to say is that I'm looking to add a linked record. When I do this, it's gonna ask me what I wanna to link to, what's the app. Now by default, it wants me to link back to this same app that I'm working in. But of course, we wanna break out of this. So by opening this up, we can go and we see all of the different solutions that we've built here. If I just look it up by name, here I've got contacts in a few different solutions. And the one I'm looking for is the solution called contacts. And I'm looking for the app inside of that called contacts. So that's the one right here. I can make that selection and go ahead and add that field. When I do this, just takes a moment. And now I'm linked to contacts. And by opening this up, I'll see any of the contacts in that other solution. Pretty amazing that we can link across solutions without the need for any other workarounds or anything else. But that's not all. Now I'm going to go into the third amazing thing that I think is just insanely cool about SmartSuite and it's at the permission level. Now, is it cool that we can link from one solution to another? Yes, that's incredible. It's definitely a very powerful feature. But what makes it even more powerful is the fact that I can control down at a solution and an app level what people can see and who has access to things. So check this out. The solution level here, if I just go on the solution itself, I can scroll on down to permissions and I can choose what type of access people have. Either by default, everyone has full access or I can assign it to specific teams. So when you onboard new people into this software, you can assign them to teams, like you're on the project manager team, you're on the developer team, and then with just a simple click, you can say, hey, when I build this solution, anybody in this particular team is gonna have access to it. The thing that makes this so cool is the fact that as you bring on new project managers, you don't have to go in and manually add them to this solution. Instead, they're gonna, once they get that title, once they get that team role, they automatically get added as soon as they come into your Smart Suite account. Very cool, but I can also go down to advanced permissions and just give a specific person access and I can also determine what level access they get. This is amazing, but it doesn't stop there. Not only do I get that control at the solution level, but I also get it at the app level as well. So I can have multiple apps inside of this solution and by clicking here on the app, I can then go down again to permissions and I get another level of control. As you see here by default, this particular app is inheriting its permissions from the solution. So that first level of permissions that I just shared with you is what's gonna drive this current permission for this app. But I can get more granular if I want to. I can override the solution permissions and I can change how people have access to this. So some people in my organization might not even be able to access the information that lives in an app inside of my solution, even though they have access to the solution in general. So if you have some sensitive information that you don't want to share with everybody, you get control over that here by accessing what type of permissions people have at the solution and at the app level. Those are my top three things that I love the most about SmartSuite out of the gate. Although that being said, they're making constant improvements to this software and amazing new features are being released on a consistent basis. Before signing off, I would ask if you found this to be valuable and if you're gonna try SmartSuite out, show a little love to the channel, please, and use our affiliate link that I will include below in the description and in the comments under this video. But that's it for now. I hope you got a ton of value from this video. I will see you in the next one. As always, I hope you found that to be extremely helpful. If you did and you'd like to learn more, swing by our website and see how we can help. We offer a free Airtable crash course that will help you level up in Airtable quickly. And we also have some paid services, including hourly consultations with our experts. We have some online courses and a group coaching program. And for advanced needs, we can build a bespoke solution for you from scratch. So swing on by and I look forward to connecting with you soon.